Hi, it's me, Dr. Prasad Sutilam. I'm continuing my classes on ion exchange of chromatography. So this is class number two. In previous class, I explained about different chromatography methods and uh, the classification and some of the examples, even commercially available chromatographic uh, regime, the example I've discussed in previous class. So class number two, this is for the synthesis part, uh, synthesis of ion exchange regime. Uh, in which uh, synthesis of anion exchange resins, synthesis of uh, cation exchange resins are discussed separately. So ion exchange resins are polymers to which uh, the functional groups are attached and there are many different methods for the synthesis of ion exchange resin. The main two steps are being the preparation or the polymerization of the resin matrix, preparing a matrix and the second method, uh, the resin matrix which is prepared that is functionalized as our requirement as a strong uh, acidic or strong basic or weakly acidic or weakly basic ion exchange resins. So ion exchange resins, the initial ion exchange resins were prepared with the phenolformaldehyde, then polystyrene based resins were got introduced and nowadays even around 90% of the polymer uh, ion exchange resins are polystyrene based resins. So phenolformaldehyde resins are prepared uh, with the phenol uh, with reaction with the sulfuric acid, it becomes a phenol uh, uh, sulfonic acid. It reacts with the formaldehyde. Condensation reaction takes place to give a three-dimensional structure, actually. So only two-dimensional structure I can represent I represented here. So it can go cross-linked structures uh, with the CH2 linkage uh, between uh, the sulfonic uh, acid groups. So here the SO3H group, uh, that is the one which makes it as a ion exchange uh, capacity, the SO3 minus and H plus exit. Therefore, it can exchange the H plus, it can replace with the Na plus or like that. It can detect a different ions. Therefore, it can be used as ion exchange resin. The polystyrene based resins, as I said, 90% of all ion exchange resins are based on polystyrenic matrix. The building block or the monomer of the polymer is styrene, which is also called as vinyl benzene. The structure of vinyl benzene is given here. The, even the line structure of, of vinyl benzene is represented here. So here it has got a double bond, uh, vinyl uh, double bond. Because of the double bond, this can break and it can connect to another uh, vinyl benzene molecule and it, the reaction can continue to get a very large molecule. We call it as the polymerization process. So it can undergo polymerization to get a repeating, a large number of repeating units. Only four are represented here. There, there will be million of this type of uh, structure repeating that is polystyrene based. So this resulting linear polymer, uh, they, are, they are strongly bonded, they are entangled together, but have little physical strength and it cannot be used for the uh, ion exchange applications as such. They are soft and even they are they can dissolve in water therefore its activation required or it can it has to be take uh, con con convert into a cross linked structure it has to convert into from the linear structure it should be converted into a di or a tri or say three dimensional structure that means cross linking is required to do cross linking another molecule is added to that by, be, 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 before doing the polymerization or well, the polymerization is done along with the divinyl benzene so the vinyl monomer or styrene monomer and divinyl benzene both taken together and did the polymerization so here we can see in divinyl benzene there are two double bonds so that the reaction can continue at one direction and here it can also continue in the other direction also so it gives a three dimensional uh, uh, structural formation so this is another representation of divinyl benzene so this styrene monomer and uh, divinyl benzene monomer they can undergo uh, copolymerization with benzyl peroxide uh, for about 12 hours you will get a three dimensional structure so here also only two dimensional structure is given here so it, it becomes a three dimensional highly cross linked structure so the same structure, polystyrene structure is represented here in which this uh, line represents the mark, the line represents the divinyl bondage. So the polystyrene beads obtained by this method, it is, uh, we actually get uh, beads. 
okay this is only the molecular structure represented here in actual practice we will be getting a pearl like pearl type uh, polymers will be you can say for it beads in a spherical form and they are having around 200 to 500 micrometer in size their diameter will be in around 200 to 500 micrometer and usually two type of uh, polymerization methods are used in industry namely batch polymerization and jetting polymerization uh, in batch polymerization the products or the beads obtained are of different sizes whereas in jetting type of polymerization we are getting uniform sized beads therefore uh, these two methods also take uh, are important uh, methods to uh, remember so the three dimensional structure of cross linked styrene and its uh, two dimensional representation is given here then functionalization of the polymer when we get the uh, polymer which is can use as a ionic synth resin then a required functionalization is done to convert it as a strongly acidic cation exchange resin or strongly basic anion exchange resin or weakly acidic cation exchange resin or weakly basic anion exchange resins so so first so these are the different uh, categories that we want to prepare or synthesize. Strongly acidic cation exchange resins, the polystyrene beads are contact, contacted with uh, high temperature with the concentrated sulfuric acid for chlorosulfonication. So this is the reaction given the polystyrene or the cross-linked polystyrene. Uh, it is reacted with the sulfuric acid, therefore we get a sulfonic acid functional group. So here this uh, uh, H, uh, this is in H form, it can also be used, for, uh, used as a exchange resin or we can replace it with a sodium form, then also it can be used as a ion exchange resin. Uh, weakly acidic case, uh, the weakly acidic cation exchange resins can be prepared from 3, 5 uh, uh, dihydroxy benzoic acid on reaction with uh, carbonic acid H2CO3 and sodium hydroxide NaOH. The reaction it undergoes uh, say cross linking takes place with methylene uh, bridge CH2 will be added in between that and the reaction continues towards right side, towards the left side and towards the, the three dimensional where the reaction continues you'll get a cross linked structure. Uh, even weakly acidic cation exchange resin can be prepared from acrylic polymers not only in styrene based acrylic polymers can also be used as a starting material like acrylonitrile acrylonitrile structure is given here or from methyl acrylate methyl acrylate structure is also given here if you use acrylonitrile you'll be getting polyacrylonitrile and if you use methyl acrylate you'll be getting polyacrylate so this structures in which CN is there in polyacrylonitrile and COO CH3 is there in polyacrylate that need to be converted into carboxyl functional group, COOH group. So that can be done by uh, treating it with sulfuric acid if it is polyacrylonitrile where the CN group is there or it can be converted into carboxylate functional group, COOH group if it is polyacrylate. So the polyacrylate reaction with the caustic soda NaOH that is given here. So we'll be getting corresponding COOH group. So here, so this is a weak acid uh, cation exchange resin. And uh, it can, because it can only partially ionize, COOH group can only partially ionize in a, uh, neutral environment. And as it is aliphatic in nature, so here we can see there is no aromatic functional group. There is no benzene or related functional group. So there is no aromaticity, so it is aliphatic. Uh, therefore, this is this this particular resin. It will be light in weight, and uh, they have high density of active functional group. So here, COH is this active functional group. The high density, more active functional groups are there in this molecule, and therefore they have high ion exchange capacity also. So in alkaline solution, this resin can exchange cations. For example, sodium ion or even divalent metal. Uh, it can detect that means it has got a high selectivity too so if if sodium comes it forms coo minus na plus it can attract a monovalent metal ion if since these functional groups are near to each other even a divalent metal ion m2 plus comes here then both can together attract to that one therefore it has got a high selectivity uh, to ion exchange resin 
वीकली बेसिक एनुअल एक्सचेंज रहती है ना फ्रॉम क्रॉसलिंग द पॉलिस रहती ना वीकली बेसिक एनुअल एक्सचेंज रेसिंग कैन बी प्रिपेयर इन टू स्टेप्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप स्टेप इज गिवन हियर दैट इज क्लोरोमिथेलेशन क्लोरोमिथेल मीथर क्लोरोमिथेल मीथेल इथर इज यूज्ड इट इज ट्रीटेड विद द क्रॉसलिंग द पॉलिस रहती टू गेट द करेस्पोंडिंग प्रोडक्ट Uh, the chloromethylated product it is further treated with the amine in most cases dimethyl amine is used the dimethyl amine structure is given here then it is treated with amine wherever ch2 cl is there that will be converted into this form uh, so this reaction actually if you see the reaction it eliminates h and cl if it eliminates h plus and cl minus it will be there on the molecule or it will stick on the it will be attached to the resin or we can say this is in hcl form and it can be regenerated as free base form also you can remove the hcl then it becomes a free base form uh, it is stored in actually stored in a free base form and whenever it, it is required for the particular application then it is uh, converted into the required form so not only the uh, dimethyl amine even the other amine like triethyl amine can be used for even n methyl glucamine it also can be used for special uh, type of anion exchange resin uh, now strongly basic anion exchange resin from crosslink the polystyrene it requires two successive step first step is the chloromethylation so it, it looks similar to the previous one first we need to prepare the chloromethylated uh, polystyrene then the chloromethylated polystyrene in second step it is uh, treated it is activated by amination here the amine used is different okay so ch2 cl chloromethylated styrene it reacts with trimethyl amine and we are getting the uh, strongly basic not sab it's sba strongly basic anion exchange resin of type 1 okay so here this is we should consider it as sba not sab strongly basic anion exchange resin of type 1 uh, or if it reacts with dimethyl uh, ethanol amine then we'll be getting a strongly basic anion exchange resin of type 2 therefore type 1 and type 2 uh, strongly basic anion exchange resins are presented here so uh, th this actually the uh, chloromethylated uh, one that i explained that i forgot to tell chloromethyl ether that uh, what we use that is a hazardous chemical so for the while handling one should be very careful uh, so this uh, sodium hydroxide form so ch2 cl form was there it is converted into the corresponding amine form then it is stored in the uh, by regenerating so it is stored in form of uh, Uh, plus and cl minus form then it is reacted with the noh uh, cl minus it is replaced with oh minus that is the regeneration regeneration with uh, caustic soda so uh, strongly basic anion exchange resin the preparation and how it is uh, regenerated uh, for application that also discussed here from a weakly basic acrylic anion exchange resin so we already seen the seen how we prepare weakly basic anion exchange resin using acrylic okay from that a strongly basic resin can be obtained using that we can convert a weakly a basic uh, anion exchange resin can be converted into strongly basic anion exchange resin it is treated with a uh, methyl chloride or dimethyl sulfate the corresponding product form that will be strongly basic anion exchange resin so the principle of ion exchange resins and the other topics will be covered in the coming classes hope you understood the synthesis part in detail uh, with uh, different uh, chemicals or different base resins phenolformaldehyde resin as well as polystyrene resin and even some of the inner conversion and how uh, it acts as strong as the strong base like the, that concept i hope you understood well Uh, thank you very much for watching my video please do subscribe my youtube channel and support me have a nice day